Well, here is the left front of a shirt. And here's what I have left over for scrap. I have nothing else. And I have to put a pocket here. And normally I match my, my lines and everything, but I think this time might be a little difficult because this is all I've got. And if I put this here, it's just gonna fit there, but it may not be lined up properly. So this is one instance where I'm gonna have to say, screw it. <laughs> I'm just gonna have an uneven, unmatched pocket. I'll have to live with it. And so will you. <laughs> All right, keep following me. Well, guess what? I got it to work. Now, let's just hope that when I stitch it down, it'll be perfect. Okay, wish me luck, and if it's uneven, so be it. Okay, so you just watched me sew on the pocket and make it work the best that I could. This was the best, best that I could for this pocket. I fudged it and it's acceptable. With a little bit of fabric I had left, I made it work. Well, here's what I got done so far. 
And as you can see, I matched the pocket the best that I could with the scrap that I have left. And this isn't all sewn together yet. I still have to sew the arms on and I still have the sides. Still quite a bit to do. And I gotta tell you, you know, when you sew on dark fabrics, it's, a it's tough to see your seam lines. So, I mean, it's very difficult to get even lines um, when you're trying to sew on uh, dark. So you gotta really make sure you have a lot of light, you know? Most of us are not young whippersnappers anymore, so. Anyway, there it is, and I'll get a picture of it when it's done. You'll get to see it. Another one down. And I've got another one started already. I'll show you that fabric. So here's that fabric. In my, in my um, video camera monitor, it really looks blue. It's more navy. But uh, yeah, so that's gonna be the next uh, shirt in that color. Okay, so here's your bonus tip. Now I talked about this in one of my other videos. This is like an accordion. This is a buttonhole marker, okay? And it goes up and down like an accordion. And I've got one hand here. I'm trying to do this one hand. Here we go. See that? There it is. That's how it compacts. And you can get that from any of your online Notion stores. Check your local sewing stores, etc. Now, if you don't have one of these, the way you can line up your buttons is to take one of your ready-made shirts and lay one of your ready-made shirts next to this. After you do that, you can make a template for yourself. And you can see here, I've made a template. Okay? So I take the template, I butt it right up against the bottom of the collar, and then make it even all the way down. And all you do is you punch holes. I have a hole puncher that I used. Okay? You punch holes here. And then what you do is you lay this down and you, you mark this with chalk. You take some of your chalk and you mark the chalk. So when you're done, you take it off and then you've got your buttonholes. Okay, let me see if I can show you that. All right, so, all right, I got one hand on the camera. So what you do is you just take and you mark with chalk. And as you can see, the chalk mark is there. So when you go to make your buttonholes, you just keep an assembly line going. People said to me, boy, you're fast making shirts. Well, you know, you have to make them like an assembly line. And if you cut accordingly, and then you do this, you have a little template here, and lay it down, bop, bop, bam, 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 get them out the door. And the more you do, the faster you get, the better you are too. Okay, so that's your tip for today. Okay, so here it is. It's completed. Another shirt. I love making clothes for myself. And how blessed are we, huh? Everyone who has a sewing machine has the same capability. Right? Okay, beautiful. This is a nice shirt. Real nice shirt. It's hard to determine which is the favorite, right? When you see all these shirts I made, which one is the favorite? And um, there's that pocket that I got to fairly match. As you can see, I got it to fairly match. 
did the best I could with a little bit of fabric that I have. And uh, turned out good. Let's flip it around here and see the back. Yeah, there is the back. Okay, nice, right? Buttons are on, buttonholes, everything. All right, my friends, until next time. For all you who sew, happy sewing. For those who don't sew, take some lessons and teach your kids. Pass it on. And like I say, if a 10-year-old in Bangladesh can make your clothes, aren't we intelligent enough in the United States to make our own too? Think about that. Or are we just lazy? Take care, everybody. Talk to you later.